So first off, who liked open spaces yesterday? Most of you. My feelings wouldn't be hurt. Some people didn't raise their hands. That's fine. Good. It's a good experience, I hope. Uh, one of the ones that I went to was uh, our DevOps and ITIL friends or foes. Uh, and that was one of the first ones that happened over in DigDug. Who participated in that conversation? Anybody want to share their thoughts real quick? No? A fellow Maroon would love to share his thoughts. Come on. Yeah, I'm only calling you out because uh, we're both graduates of the University of Chicago. Uh, I didn't actually graduate from there. I just went to the bookstore. So. You got to play along at least. Yeah, so I loved the University of Chicago. It was there great. Best four years of my life. Uh, so yeah, we talked about ITIL and we talked about um, DevOps, are they friends or foe? And I think we kind of really just landed around change management. I mean, I think everyone, you know, I didn't see anyone arguing that incident problem weren't, weren't uh, valuable, but I think a lot of the uh, teeth gnashing and consternation came around the change management process and the cab. You know, I think some people thought that the, the cab was uh, some form of a Sith Lord, so I think that was, that was part of it. Um, I think people felt like uh, the cab was their biggest bottleneck and, and slowed down a lot of productivity in, in deploying their applications out into production. So, um, so for me, I, I felt like ITIL, um, for the most part, is fine. Again, it's, that, it's a general framework, and if you choose to, uh, if you choose to uh, not change that framework and lock in on your processes and never go through that, that, that Deming cycle where you're plan, do, check, act, and, and get back through those cycles, that's on, that's on your organization. That's not an ITIL problem, that's a people process problem. So that was, that was kind of what I took away from it. I mean, we saw here earlier just in one of the Ignite sessions, um, they're using ServiceNow and ITIL and change management, but they streamlined it, they hit a button, and they're done. So I think that's you know, one of the things that a lot of organizations should strive towards is you know, have those processes, make them repeatable, make it so that your auditors are happy, and make it so your developers are happy so you get those win-win situations and, and not set people into opposition with each other, so. Thank you very much. Uh, the other thing that I took away from it is that you need to rethink, like, uh, rethink the processes, right? So like what Courtney was kind of talking about where you do that value stream map, that's how you can rethink your processes and work the waste out of your processes because there's probably a lot of waste in your processes uh, if you haven't went through that exercise. So we have one proposal from Matt, uh, how to start to transform pets to cattle, mindsets and best practices. Uh, we could probably use a little bit more. How many do we have here? I think we actually have enough. So we'll put these port cards back, um, back there. Let's vote on them. Let's try and vote on them as quickly as possible and run through it so we can get everyone started at 2 o'clock. Thank you very much. No applause.